So it looks like they finally decided to release Do More Chapter 3. I'm kind of unsure why this wasn't up on patch day unless that was unintentional. Either way, uh, looks like we got this now and that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to be working on my way through these campaign nodes and see if any of them give me any trouble, but also the teams that I think are going to work best for these as we make it through the chapter. So let's try and get Graviton and Taskmaster farmable by the end of this video alongside the rest of the T14 minis that we're missing. And of course, Without further ado, let's get this show started. Alright guys, here we go. Uh, this is the start of Doom War 3-1. And it looks like the first node does give you molecular scans, which is great because this is one of the ones that I'm sort of missing the most. Uh, and, and actually, historically, this is the one that I've had to farm the most. So uh, it's good that they're finally making the rest of the T14 mini uniques farmable so that anyone who is looking to go through these, uh, get up to tier 14 rather, will have a bit of an easier time once you clear these campaign nodes. <coughs> Sorry about that. And so looking at some of the enemies that we have so far, I just wanted to take a brief look. Looks like we have a Baron Zemo and uh, a Ghost that seems to be uh, an issue. Otherwise, it's just going to be uh, a lot of minions, it seems here. So let's get this started. I'm not going to go through the text here. I'll probably just go back and read it another time. We're just going to kind of skip through this a little bit here. Admittedly, I haven't read a lot of the story. I'll have to go back and actually see. I, I imagine it's something to do with Doctor Doom. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll have to go back and check this out in my own time. So here we are. So we can use anyone, I think. Yeah, so then why wouldn't we just use my strongest team here? Uh, but, you know, I want to... So everyone's going to use their strongest team, probably. There is no restriction. So I'm actually going to go with Symbias uh, because they do have some of the most sustain. Um, and this is something that I would probably recommend for people who do have the Symbius available. Obviously, you can use any team that you have. Uh, so probably using whatever your best raid team is. Raid teams tend to have sustain in them, so you're going to want to make sure that you have a little bit of that going into any of these campaign nodes. So do keep that in mind. Uh, so that would be my personal recommendations for these first three nodes, and that's probably what I'm going to be using here, uh, given how much sustain Symbius have. Although, I will say that they don't have um, the drain, the 100% drain, that is specific to raids in Dark Dimension, but we'll see here anyways if there's any problem. All right, so we're starting with Ghost on here, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem because Ghost doesn't have, her passive is all on Dark Dimension, so I don't see it being too difficult here. Obviously my characters are really powered up compared to uh, the average player going through this, so I don't suspect it to be too difficult here though. We're gonna play this normally though. Get some defense up going there with anti venom, and uh, we're just gonna just do a little bit of damage, I guess. Baron Zemo is a bit of an issue, though. Uh, let's try and get him down before his passive goes off, if possible. Baron Zemo is a bit of a pain. He clears a lot and positive effects on his passive there. Uh, can we kill? Oh. Trying to get this Baron Zemo. We're stuck behind. Uh, we're stuck behind crossbones there. Let's see if we can get Baron Zemo down. Probably. We should be fine here, I think. And we'll just go along here. So it doesn't seem too difficult. I mean, I didn't expect the first note to really be that challenging. Uh, and hand, of course, really, <laughs> since there hasn't been any rework on hand lately, uh, this definitely is not a problem. We can just put on auto, I think, at this point. So it looks like 3 1, really not much of a challenge. I, I don't really expect too many challenges until we start getting into the traded ones, uh, which is do more 3 4 and above. 3 4 to 3 6, and then uh, 3 7 to 3 9, so. Uh, 3, 7 to 3, 9 probably looks like it might be kind of challenging. <sighs> we'll see as we get through this. So that is Doom War 3, 1 cleared. 3 star. A bit of an overpower. Uh, 540k symbiotes. So I know not everyone is going to have that high. Uh, but given the power level of the enemies, I suspect you could probably do this at the 300k range. I think the enemies are in the 60k or so, so you should have at least 60k per character, I think, or about a 300k minimum team power, I suspect. Although, because you can use anyone in this, it shouldn't be overly that difficult. OK, 
Okay, we've got some more stuff going on here. Okay, again, we're just gonna run the symbiotes again. Uh, I think that's just the most the easiest way to get through this. Although you could use characters like Minerva, Shuri, you know, anyone with additional healing and sustain if you're a bit lower power and you need to get through it that way. Or you could just use your Black Order if you have Black Order <laughs> or really any team. So, uh, you know, I guess that's the good thing about these first three nodes is that you can use anyone you want to. Okay, we got some Deadpools, we got some aim characters and Strife. I think I'm going to work on Strife first actually since he's a tank and he taunts. And uh, Scientist Supreme probably as well, actually, because uh, she will revive passively sometimes. So let's try and get Scientist Supreme down. She might just die of bleeds there. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe we'll hit her one more time just in case. Deadpool alts did a little bit of damage. Okay. She'll die of bleeds. Uh, try and get these Deadpools. A lot of bleeds. That's another reason why I really like Symbiotes is because of how many bleeds they're applying to everyone. They just they do they do a ton of damage. There we go. Oops, I didn't mean to use that one, uh, but it worked anyways. And Sides of Supreme, I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't even get to take her turn. So at this point, you know, we're going to stick this on auto as well. And it doesn't look too bad. The the, the enemies that are in this, there's a lot of minions. Anytime you're fighting, fading, facing campaign nodes that have a lot of minions, you know, they're really not all that challenging. Uh, so these first couple of nodes seem pretty easy. Aim Infector. I mean, a lot of these aim monstrosity, you know, I, I don't really see uh, these nodes being that challenging when they're using minions at this degree. There we go. So that is uh, do more three two at a three star there as well. All right. I forgot to check actually what the rewards were for this. Uh, so it looks like we got the uh, orange spiky ball superior unstable molecules. So that's good there. Uh, don't really need those sigils. Those those purple sigils I have way too many of. Uh, did I miss anything on that? Oh, there and there is uh, superior health catalyst parts as well, so not too bad. And actually, just to double check, it looks like there is more... Oh no, it's the same. Okay, I thought maybe there was more gold in this chapter than there was on the other ones. Do more 3-3. Three, three. So we do get these advanced MRIs if you need them. Uh, some superior vials and some SBCs. Enemies in here. Dr. Doom, or Doombots maybe, uh, with some minions, so this will be interesting. Okay, so I think we're, <laughs> we're gonna stay the course. I, actually, you know what, we're gonna remove vision, um, Venom and we're gonna put in Black Bolt for this uh, because of the Doom Bots, which are villain tech. So I wanna take advantage of that with um, Black Bolt and his burps. I really like this uh, Mojo background, by the way, as well. I really hope that maybe at some point down the line, we might actually get Mojo as a playable character or with some sort of Mojo World or Mojo Verse team. That would be really cool. Okay, so it looks like we're starting off with these, uh, maybe I should have saved that, <laughs> with these minions, and then we're probably gonna get some bots show up after that. Okay. All right, so it looks like we got a bunch of either Dr. Dooms or Doom bots. I'm not sure which one they are. Army of Dooms. They could be real Dooms. These enemies cannot summon Doom bots, but Latveria's rulers has provided some aid to them. Okay, so I think they might be real Dr. Dooms, actually. This is interesting. Yeah, they have a fair bit of hit points, actually. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Good thing we brought Black Bolt along for this. There we go. Burp, burp. 160k burps. 
This is a lot of damage. <clears throat> okay, so I don't think this is going to be too challenging. Interestingly, despite only being is it two, 24k bots, uh, they still have a lot of hit points though. Oof. All right, there we go. And that's 3-3 three, three clear here. So those are Doom Bots there. And that is a three star. So we're gonna take a quick break for a very quick second here before we get started on Doom War 3-4. All right, and I'm back. I just had to grab a quick drink for myself, so let's get this started back on Doom War 3-4. Looks like we have some Superior Shogoth Iker on 3-4 and some Orange Resistance Catalyst parts. So looking at the minions again, looks like we have a Doc Ock Sinister 6 and some Brotherhood in here. So let's get this started. So this is the start of the Traded Nodes, and this is Avengers and Fantastic Four characters. So... Uh, let's jump through here and see who we're going to use. Most likely the Fantastic Four together, I think. And this is very reminiscent of Doom War 1, 7 to 1, 9. I'm pretty sure that also used Fantastic Four characters as well. So, let's check it out. And, okay, so who are my strongest characters? Who does it want me to use? I'm definitely going to be using, maybe I won't be using all of them. But I think... Uh, <laughs> I do have a 93k vision, uh, Thor, Nick Fury, um, you know what, I think we're going to do exactly what we did with the other ones, and it's going to be this. So this is how I did once, uh, do more 1-9 for the Negasonic node, I think I'm going to try this again, this is 346k, I do have vision and falcon if I do want to try a different approach next time, uh, but let's start off with this. I know not everyone is necessarily going to have uh, the Fantastic Four leveled up, perhaps to this high, and I do have a tier 14 Invisible Woman, and my Nick Fury is tier 13, so uh, there people might choose to do other fill-in characters, such as Falcon, I think is a good choice as well, and Vision, depending on where you have them at, might fit in as well, if you're using other tech characters. So, let's see what we get inside battle here. Should be loading up any second here. Come on, my loading is super slow for some reason. There we go, finally. Okay, so my instruments, and we're not gonna really, we're just gonna skip through the talking here. It looks like we have Doc Ock right out of the gate. So we're gonna need to focus on him. Let's try and get him down. Of course, anytime he blocks, he's going to heal other Sinister Six allies. Oh, God. This could be tricky. <laughs> wow. Uh, Nick Fury almost got wrecked. I um, think we're just going to try and go in there with the ultimate. Oh, we need to get that, uh, that barrier up here. And, of course, I forgot. Because Doc Ock's there, he is actually resistant to it. Everyone gets resistance to offense down, so that didn't really do a whole lot there. Let's um, try and get that Shocker down. Oh, okay, we didn't. This could be tricky, because I didn't save uh, Mr. Fantastic's ultimate, which might have been better for Juggernaut here. I think Nick Fury's gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So, that didn't go exactly how we wanted. Uh, but we're gonna carry on through the level anyways. And see how badly I either win or lose this. So, we're back to the Fantastic Four. Um, I'm wondering if maybe I should try and run Vision... Uh, to possibly ability block Doc Ock at all. Uh, Nick Fury didn't really seem to do all that much there. And now we have an Electro coming out, which is kind of sucks because Electro is going to put offense down on everyone. Uh, and it looks like we're stuck behind this blob. I hate blob. This reminds me of the Catalyst change event. Or not, yeah, it was, Catalyst of change? Was it that one? 
the blaster challenge. Mm. Wow. Uh, Human Torch isn't looking too hot here. Oh boy. Uh, let's try and get Electro down. Yikes. Uh, oh, I already used my special for the defense up. <sighs> oh, God. And I lost Human Torch, so this is going to be a one star for me. This is embarrassing. This is fairly tough, actually. Okay. Um, am I <laughs> am I even gonna get through this? Oh my god. I might lose this. We need to clear that. Oh my god. Uh, let's get some more barrier up. They're still resisting, which is hilarious because Doc Ock is dead, and they're still. Uh, I guess, I guess Dog Ock gives permanent resistance uh, to offense down to everyone, even if they haven't dropped on the screen. That's bonkers. <sighs> okay, so we're almost there. So I think we're gonna just barely clear this. Oof. Oh, okay, there's Sabretooth gone. Deathproof. Okay, let's get Rhino down. Okay. Jeez, oh, we cleared it, but... One star. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to come back to this. Uh, luckily for me, uh, this isn't a uh, node that I really, really need to clear at this time, so I don't think there was anything on there that... Really, the sh I have a lot of these Shogoth Ikers right now, uh, so it's not a huge priority for me. So I will come back to this later and try and work on that. We'll see if any of these are a bit more harder. What's what do we have here? We have some black. Oh my god, some Black Order members, some Symbiote Spider Man. That <laughs> these are some tough nodes, guys. <laughs> these are not easy. Maybe I need to switch up some of my characters because. Uh... Maybe I should go with the characters that I do have at higher power, which might be removing Thing. He's just damage. I think we want to go for Falcon, probably. And... I'm going to get rid of... Uh... Um, I'm going to go for Vision, because I think he has more sustainability. He has more dodge. Uh, I think he's more likely to survive. So let's try this. This is 391k. This is Vision and Falcon. Invisible Woman. Actually, I don't even know about Mr. Fantastic. 61k. <laughs> you know, let's just let's do this. Let's do Thor. So this is really not... There really isn't much synergy here. Uh, but these are my strongest characters, pretty much. And let's see if this is enough to handle this. I think Falcon might help because of the speed bar that he contributes. And it's on a fairly low cooldown. Um... Why, these do seem to be some pretty challenging notes, so... <laughs> Let's see if I can clear this at least to one star so we can get through. Uh, but obviously the one after this is going to be the Graviton node, so... Alright, we're starting with two Proxima Midnights and the Cold Obsidian. Uh, Kree Reaper is actually going to have a lot of starting damage as well, so this is a bit of an issue. I'm gonna do an ability block. Oh, maybe I should have offense down. To oh my god, I didn't even land that because of the offense down. Get some turn bar. Okay, we need to get some barrier up. We did get offense down on three of them. We're just gonna do a basic attack. Um, well, let's try and clear that defense up and give it to Nick Fury. And we're gonna slow. Try and slow. It looks like we didn't really manage to land that. Uh, let's spread these buffs. Okay, let's see. Uh, we're gonna do the alt for some damage here. Uh, we will do some solar beam. Do some more damage. Actually, didn't it wasn't too bad there. 
Uh, let's try and clear that death roof. We can give that to Nick Fury. And chuck our hammer there. Definitely need to slow... Oh my god, we need to get this Falcon down. Let's just do the, the double tap there with the special. Uh, we're going to wait a bit before using the special, I think. Uh, we'll probably do it next turn here. And Symbiote Spider-Man is going to be a bit, a bit bit of an issue. Although maybe Corvus Glaive has uh, offense up. Let's try and get him there with the offense down. Okay, so far so good. Uh, let's try and take some of these buffs. Oof. We're still good, right? I think we're still good. Let's clear some of that defense up to everyone. So Invisible Woman is definitely helping a lot more on this battle here. And uh, hopefully we can get some stuns off. So let's try and get a stun on Symbiote Spider-Man. There we go. So Thor did some pretty decent damage there. And let's just finish off Corvus. Actually, these shield security minions are actually hitting fairly hard uh, for Nick Fury summons. So it looks like this was quite a bit easier than the previous level. Maybe I could have just used the same combination of characters. Maybe I shouldn't have used uh, the Fantastic Four that I did, but I tried to do it. I'll probably go back and try it uh, later to see if I can actually clear it, and I'll get back to you guys about uh, the sort of what I ended up using to three-star it. So it looks like we're going to get the three-star on this one. We didn't really take much damage at all here. Just chipping away at these death proofs that Call of Duty has tons of. And we'll just spread that for extra measure. Some death proofs. And we basically got this. Oops. There we go. Okay. Alright, great. So that was a three star there. So we're going to use the same team, I think, going into three, six. All right. So we're on the Graviton farm node here and we are getting some superior chaotic ribosomes and just some purple damage catalyst. So nothing too big there. Uh, what are we facing? A Doom, She-Hulk, Taskmaster, Shuri, and a bunch of other random characters. Uh, this could be quite tough. Three, six, ten enemies. Uh, the Doom sounds kind of scary. Uh, so, we're, yeah, we're gonna, I think we're gonna use the same team. I don't know how effective Thor might be in this, but I don't really have anyone else that's really all that great. So we're gonna, we're gonna carry on. We're gonna keep calm and carry on. And hopefully, uh, we'll get through this together. And then we get to hopefully get through this to 3-7, but it's not over till it's over. So let's get through this note here and get this started. Thank you, Mojo, for you know having to look at your fat belly every time I load into this game. And all right, we got a glowy Dr. Doom, so I imagine he's going to be the tough one here. Uh, and do we get any NPCs? No, it doesn't look like it. So let's start off by summoning. Uh, okay, my operative is dead. Uh, right, okay, so I'm gonna try and offense down him, and we do, we get that, so, guess we're gonna get some turn bar here, and we're just gonna put the barrier up, as per usual, and we're gonna chip away at him, I think, we're just gonna try and work on him, and he gets a doom bot, so that's interesting, <laughs> um, we're gonna try and slow him, no, we didn't land that, of course not, Are we? can we, no, his resistance is super high, Okay, we do have some boss going on though. Uh, I think we want to try and take these Doom bots out before they start stacking up for his abilities. Uh, we're no, actually, we're gonna clear that stun from Nick Fury there with the special, and we're just gonna work away at Doctor Doom. He's gonna time platform, isn't he? Yeah, okay, so that gives him a lot of turns in succession. I hope that we don't end up getting wrecked here. Uh, he did heal, actually, as well, so that's a bit of an issue. Uh, so we need to work away. We don't. Ha I should have saved that AoE, I think, from uh, Falcon. Uh, uh, a lot of things going on here. 
Uh, we're going to Solar Beam. And that actually cleared out the Doom Bot, so that's good. Ooh. Oh god, okay. We're fortunately stuck behind uh, She-Hulk. Ow. We're still alive. I think we're still alive. <laughs> More Doom Bots, though. She-Hulk's down. We need to get back on Doctor Doom, but we need to get rid of these uh, Doom Bots as well. So we're gonna... Hopefully... there Did we get stunned? No, we didn't get stunned, but it wasn't enough AoE. We're gonna save that turn bar. There we go. So, oh, no, he's not dead yet. Now he's dead. Okay, Dr. Doom is down. Now we have the final wave here, and we're gonna work on Taskmaster first. I think he has the, probably the biggest problem here. These minions, these shield security minions, can't even seem to land anything. <sighs> we're gonna take a lot of damage here, I think, from... Oh, maybe not. Ooh, 90% speed bar. Okay, we need to get some offense down. There we go. So that should help. Uh, and let's get some defense up as well. Uh, let's try and get this Taskmaster down if we can. Before he blows everyone up with his alt. Ugh, no, he's still gonna get his alt off. Blinded Falcon, it looks like. Alright, he's down, he's down. Uh, let's get this Merc Lieutenant, because he, he buffs people. And I don't like that. Oh, looks like he got up anyways. Get some more barrier, that should help. Okay, I think we're gonna get this. Uh, let's summon up some more minions. Uh, I'm blinded, so I guess it doesn't matter here. Um, basic. Let's try. I can Oh, I finally actually landed a slow. It seems. Steal some buffs. Steal more buffs. Shuri's down. Bullseye down now. Okay, so I think we got this. Oof. Alright, so this was a bit tougher than I thought this segment. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is, once we clear this, we're going to actually take a break uh, on the video and there will be another follow-up video with seven, or sorry, seven, uh, three seven to three nine, uh, because looking at how long the video actually ended up being, I think we're gonna take a break for those segments here. So uh, this video will mainly comprise of three one to three six here, which is what we finished up on, and then there will be another follow-up video for three seven to three nine, which I suspect is gonna be quite cha quite challenging. <laughs> so. We did get Doctor Doom, uh, and whether or not what I used was the best possible uh, team setup, you know, there could be other arrangements. But I think Falcon worked very well actually for these sections, and Vision was really good for clearing as a control type character. But I know a lot of people aren't necessarily going to have Vision uh, right now for uh, leveled up because I've had him from the past from Power Armor 1.0, and Vision was a very powerful character back in the day, although less people use him now. Anyways, uh, that's going to be the end of this video for just now, and stay tuned for Doom 37 to 39, which shouldn't be too far behind this video here. Thanks, guys.